But first to six, a major blow for prosecutors in that historic female genital mutilation case. A federal judge ruling today that the nation's FGM law is unconstitutional. As a result, a number of key charges against two local doctors and others in the case are being dismissed. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirchner has been following this case from the very beginning. And Jim is live with us right now. So how's the defense reacting to this news today, Jim? Defense attorney Shannon Smith says the way this was passed by Congress made this unconstitutional and the judge agreed. Absolutely a huge victory. And when you actually studied the law they enacted, there was no constitutional basis for them to enact the law. It's really an issue that should be left to the states. Dr. Jumana Nargawala is accused of performing female genital mutilation on preteen girls from Michigan, Minnesota, and Illinois, and that the painful procedures were performed inside this clinic in Livonia, owned by Dr. Fak Rudin Attar and his wife Frida. Those three and one of the mothers are still charged with obstruction of justice and traveling to perform a sex act up to 30 years in prison. All of the people in the case are part of a Muslim sect from India known as uh, Duwadi Bora. The doctors were part of a mosque based in Farmington Hills. From the beginning, they denied this was FGM, but rather a mild form of female circumcision. What Dr. Nagarwala was doing if we had gone to trial, I think she would have been vindicated that she was not mutilating little girls. While we're happy with the victory and we'll certainly take it, it's almost, there's a part of me that's a little bit disappointed that the public is not going to see the evidence brought out at a trial to see that she was never guilty of it in the first place. Now the defense attorney says all of the young girls in this case were examined and there's a big difference of opinion exactly what was done to them. The U.S. Attorney's Office is expected to appeal, but for now, now the trial on the remaining charges tentatively set for April of next year. Four of the eight originally charged, all parents of these young girls tonight have their charges cleared. Live in Bloomfield Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Certainly a big case. Thank you so much, Jim.